Hey guys, it is December 24th, 2021. It is 7.42 p.m. I am sitting here with my amazingly handsome husband. Woohoo! <laughs> and we wanted to come and we wanted to share with y'all um, what all has happened today. Because we have had a, an amazing, fun-filled day. Um, so we wanted to kind of share... What has gone on today? You want to start us out, honey? Ah, well, we uh, we were going to go. Well, let's start out with t last night. We had a horrible trip <laughs> up here because of a tire that was purchased used two weeks ago. And that tire turned out to be a bomb deal. Okay? Yes. To the point, it was so bad that going 30 miles an hour today, that the uh, whole car was just shaking. Like, do 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 It was awful. And last night, we rode in this car for four and a half hours with it going <laughs> it gave me a headache and you oh, it made me absolutely nauseous nauseous <laughs> it was awful so we uh, took it upon ourselves on Christmas Eve to try to find a uh, place to get a tire <sighs> So we decided to go to Walmart, okay? But on our way to Walmart, I said, hey, let's see if this place is open. We called them and they were open. So we went there and spent, how long did we spend there, babe? I, know, I guess it was in there two, for a couple hours. Yeah, at least two, two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> sharing God yep. with this guy that owns this place. Okay, <clears throat> and he was actually, he's actually a, an evangelist. Yes. And we didn't know that when we uh, went to the place, which was really, really cool. Oh, it was an amazing, amazing, amazing meeting. And it was uh, just at the end of, of it, we, he said, I want to pray for you. Oh. And the guy gets our hands and he starts praying. And as he's speaking, his hands start trembling. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then he ends up uh, speaking in tongues over us. Puts his hands like on, his, on our heads or something. Mm -hmm. I can't even remember everything, but he was just shaking the whole time that he was doing this. I've never had that done before to me in my life, which was kind of a little weird, but a little cool at the same time. Okay, so... But you could definitely but, feel the Holy Spirit was just... Absolutely, the whole oh, time we were the there. The whole time we were there, it was, <clears throat> I mean, was all around in that place and us and just it was it was an amazing God appointed time and when he was praying I was just as squalling yep I mean you could feel God's presence was right there it, it was amazing it was absolutely cool oh it was so we left there and to continue our mission <laughs> to, to, to go get the tire now so we go to Walmart because oh. nowhere else is open that on Christmas Eve. So we shake all the way to Walmart. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> and uh, just going <laughs> down the road. And we get there. The guy tells us how much a tire is. And he quotes us the wrong price. Yes. And the manager comes out and tells us, we have I'm a sorry. We have a problem. <laughs> I don't know how he did it. But he gave you the price of a size 16 tire and you got a size 18 tire. I don't know how that happened. 
Right. But this is what I'm going to do. So he gives us a discount mm -hmm. on the tire. Okay? And I just knew that that was God doing that <clears throat> and actually helping us out financially. Absolutely. Okay? So I leave there. He goes back outside. So I follow him back out there in just a few for after two or three minutes, I go out there, and he, uh, him and I start having a conversation outside. Mm -hmm. Well, Michelle is left in, I left her sitting inside, and I'm going to let her tell this other part. <clears throat> so, this is a really, really, really cool thing right now. As I'm, as I'm sharing, saying this, and I'm about to tell you that, uh, um, let Michelle take over this, uh, this, uh, mm -hmm. video. So, I want to, I want to share this real quick. It is, there's a 714 on the odometer right now. And Isaiah 714 says, <clears throat> all right then. The Lord himself will give you a sign. Look. Okay? And the really and, cool part about the, the rest of the verse is tomorrow is Christmas. That's right. So the rest of the verse says, The virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. That's just amazing, guys. <laughs> okay? So... <clears throat> Keep in mind that last little bit, which means, Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Absolutely. Okay? Because that's going to pertain to what Michelle is about to share with you guys that happened while I was talking to the guy outside. Go for it, babe. Okay. So, I'm sitting there, and there is a buggy in front of me, and I'm sitting in a seat, and there's a buggy in front of me that's got these tires in there. And I just happened to look up, and one of them was, um, had 122, 122. Well, if you've watched uh, any of our God, God's 108 story, um, we talk about 2 Corinthians 1, 21 and 22. It talks about um, setting a seal of ownership on Melvin and I um, that we found uh, back in August before we did the video. Uh, yes. Yes. On August 16th. Correct. So... 2021. That, that was on one tire. And so what caught my eye was on the other tire was a 219 and a 133. And I was like, that's interesting. So I proceeded to look up the scripture, which I knew 133 was um, 2 Corinthians 13.3. And this is just absolutely amazing. Because this is the one I saw first before I saw the 219. So 2 Corinthians 13, 3 says, I will give you all the proof you want that Christ speaks through me. Christ is not weak. When he deals with you, he is powerful among you. And I was like, oh, wow. So then I began to look and uh, I looked at the 219. And I captured these on, on pictures. So I will... I will share these um, on the video as well. But on 219, I began to read that. It was it's Haggai 219. And what I found amazing, which Haggai 219 says, I am giving you a promise now while the seed is still in the barn. You have not yet harvested your grain and your grapefruit, grapevines, fig trees, pomegranates, and olive trees have have not yet produced their crops. This is the last sentence of that verse. But from this day onward, I will bless you. And I was like, wow. And that was just after this gentleman has come in and told us that we were quoted the wrong price and this is what I'm going to do to you. He's discounted this stuff for us. And I just sat there and just was in tears. Now, now keep in mind, guys, we're, we have no money. <laughs> we have no money. Okay. We live a day to day. We, we, get, we live day to day week, in week. what 
uh, Michelle and I make. We don't get money from anywhere else, okay? So when we get these tires, when we say that we're going to get these tires, I'm going to get, I'm going to pay for these tires from money that I'm supposed to pay child support that is due next, next week, week. Mm -hmm. okay? Which is going to make me be short a couple hundred bucks. Right. Okay? Because we need two tires. We can't go back down the road going blah, 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 for five more hours. Right. Okay? But the awesome thing about the past three months, I have been able to work some payment plans out with one of my payments that I've, I'm having to make. And I've, for three months, I've had a, this payment plan, and they said every three months we can use a new payment payment plan. You know, trying to uh, uh, critique it to what what we need. So I have paid on on this particular car for three months, and we were able to use that card in order to get these tires and not dip into stuff that we need for bills or child support. And it was, I mean, that was. That was God. That was all a blessing. That was definitely a blessing. We, we were able to was. use that and not dip into stuff that we need for for our bills. So, you know, and that and then just reading that verse and it that's just and, another and that way. Was, and that was the reason for the tears as well that you have. <sighs> oh gosh. Okay. I, it's just it. <laughs> just all of that together. It's just been amazing. You know, all of it. So. Uh, I was reading Haggai 2, and I went back up, and I just started just reading. And so, what stood out to me is in this particular passage, it mentions um, December the 18th, the 18th of December. And I'm like, wait a second. So, I pull out my calendar, get to look at it, and it was last Saturday. Well, last Saturday was the day that we went to this particular store and was in there talking about God for four and a half hours. Which is in our last video that we made right. in Dollywood. Yes. So I am just amazed that this is talking about um, about ha having uh, the date of uh, December, December the 18th. So I'm kind of glancing at this and it says it in there twice. Actually three times. So I went past and I kept reading through Haggai 2, 19, went to 2, 20, and then just kept reading. All right, so then we'll read what 20 and kind of on says from here. Tell them about what happened on the 19th. I'm getting there. Okay. Just a minute. Okay. <laughs> he's, Sorry, getting ahead. Guys. he's getting ahead of me. I'm going to kind of take it one verse at a time. So the chapter 2 of Haggai, verse 20 says, On that same day, December 19, the Lord said, sent this second message to Haggai and it was talking about telling the governor of Judah that I'm about to shake the heavens and the earth. And I looked at my them when I was telling him about this, I said, what just happened? Today was when this evangelist was praying with us and over us, he was shaking. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is awesome. And so, again, I was still reading. Okay, so what he was talking about, tell him about the day after. So, on December 18th was when we spent this four and a half hours in the store talking about God. It was just, it was an amazing God-appointed time. We made the, the video in Dollywood that night. And the next day, we're, um, we stop at this flea market. And we go in there strictly to get a phone case for my husband because he keeps breaking them. Anyways. That's not nice <laughs> for you to say. So, but we're going in there and we're looking and we come across this lady and she was doing rings. And she what, started speaking to us. Yeah, she was asking about if we want to get some kind of ring done. And what it is, is they stamp these rings. So, and Melvin was kind of looking at them and he kind of goes... I think I won't get one. I was like, okay. I actually walked away. And then went. I, I just asked her, where is a place that I can get a phone case? Phone case. And I started walking away, and then I went, oh, 
Hold on a second. So he so got. We went some, back, and then this is when this conversation starts. So we're looking way. at these rings, and he looks. I said, "What are you gonna put them?" He said, "I'm not gonna put your name on." It. I was like, "Well, all right then. Nope. We're gonna put my name on there." Nope. So what he ended up getting was a uh, him and I both have match, matching rings, and we're wearing them on our, our right hand on a ring finger, because um, of course our left hand it has our wedding rings. So on our right hand on this ring we got matching ones, and it says Mark. 10 8. It's our 108 story. And it took. You mean God's 108 story. God's 108 story. Yes, I'm That's sorry. Right. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave God out. Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> uh, so he ends up getting two of these rings one for me, one for him. It was, it was kind of like a Christmas present, along, along with the tires today. <laughs> <laughs> so. And it's really cool. So, I'm going to try to get a picture of those as well. Um, so, we're looking at these rings. We get them. It takes like 20 minutes. And so, today, when I am reading Haggai, that I keep I keep reading down. Then this is really interesting. It says on verse 23 in Haggai. But the when the, this happens, says the Lord is heaven's army, I will honor you. And uh, I'm going to butcher this guy's name, but he calls him the son of Shatil, my servant. And this is the interesting part. It says, I will make you like a signet ring on my finger, says the Lord, for I have chosen you. I, the Lord of heaven's armies, has spoken. And as soon as I read that, I looked down at my ring on my finger. And I just squalled. I mean, I'm, I'm in tears. And I'm, because when Melvin came back and I am, I am telling him this, I'm just, I'm in tears. Just yep. an awe of what God has just revealed in these short few minutes that he walks away and is talking to the guy. That God has chosen us. He's He's put us on a path and it's it's just been amazing this whole day and having last weekend of how we encountered these people at this one store for four and a half hours and we get to talk to this gentleman and there was another lady there. I don't want to leave her out. I don't know her name, but sweet lady um, that was there in that store as well. And we were there for two, two and a half hours. It was just, it was in a, a God-appointed time. And then we get there at, to get our tires. And, you know, we're thinking how in the world we're going to pay for this. And then Haggai 219, after seeing that 219 on that tire, you know, he says, from this day forward, I'm going to bless you. And then I'll keep reading and it talks about a signet ring on, on, on my finger. You know, I will, I will make you like a signet ring on my finger because I've chosen you. Gosh, dog. <laughs> so, so guys, the, the whole, the whole cool part while I'm, I'm allowing my wife to be able to collect herself right now because she's getting a little emotional, I can tell. You know, the cool part about these rings, it was a spur of the moment type thing yep. where I wanted to just be able to say, God, we're with you, okay? You're with us. Mm -hmm. And it's a way for me and Michelle to be able to say, we're with you back, yep. you know? We're married to you, just like we're married to each other. Absolutely. You know? So it's 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 just a it's a symbol of our love back to God and what He's done for us. Very very small, <laughs> you know. In a very very small I mean, way. I mean, we have we He gives us so much grace, and we have no ability to really pay Him back for what He does no, for us. Not even close. But it's just m mine and her way of saying. God, we're always with you. Absolutely. We're always with you. Okay? You every know? every step, every moment of the day, just everything. You know, and, and I don't mean to make anybody feel like they can't be in the same place that we are. Because you can. You Absolutely. can be right where we are experiencing the same dadgum things that we are 
just like we are mm -hmm. but it takes surrendering everything in your life <laughs> whether God removes it or not that's up to him but, but you have to surrender it for him to take take and do whatever he wants in your life after that point absolutely okay we have been we have been there we are there every single day we surrender ourselves not just to each other but to god every single day we this is not take up our cross this, and follow him yeah this is not a one-time thing no surrendering yourself saying i'm gone i'm done i've surrendered myself one time Okay, now I can go about my business and do what I want to do. It's not on a once a week time on Sunday morning. Not at, a, not at all. You surrender yourself every and your day. flesh and what you desire, what you want, every single moment of every single day. Absolutely. It never is ending. No. Okay? And that's what this ring means to me and it means to Michelle as well. You know? That's why when God revealed what he did to you, mm -hmm. and I may be speaking out of place, but you correct me if I'm wrong, that's why you're so emotional Absol about it. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know? So, end it up however you want to end it, babe. Uh, <laughs> you know? Still collecting over here, but no, I, absolutely. I just... You know, when, and when you said something about surrendering yourself every day, it's a never-ending thing. You know, well, God's love for us, God's mercy, God's grace that He wants to give us is a never-ending thing. So why should our surrendering stop short of that? No doubt. You know, if His is never-ending, why should ours be never-ending? So... You know, we just wanted to capture today's moments. I mean, I know it's a short video. I don't want to get too long-winded and kind of keep babbling on. But just wanted to share the amazing, amazing day that God has truly, truly blessed us with. And had we not been listening to God's guidance once again, you know, it's an everyday thing. Then, you know, these blessings that he has just laid right there before us in in meeting these people or or just allowing us to see you know his glory laid out in our lives you know if we don't have the obedience and and follow him on a daily basis and uh not just daily but second by second as he's led us several times one way and we have to turn around and go the other way no doubt so no doubt i mean there after all of that happened we uh, uh, go and we're gonna go eat dinner in another location because we had, had a gift. We got a gift card from it mm -hmm. from a Christmas party that Michelle's boss put on for her. Absolutely. And her and her employees, our, our, her fellow employees. So we go to a different Walmart and it's right before they're about to close close the doors. And this van has. 963 on it and I on, on a phone number and I asked the lady do you mind if I take a picture of this 963 and she said sure go ahead so I get to share God and our 108 story with this lady in the middle of Walmart parking lot on Christmas Eve yep and she's blown away yep she's like how in the world did that happen you know she can't yeah. believe it and then and then we go to dinner and our server, server, I can tell you she is not a believer in God. She has got all kind of people that are that has been in her ear in her 24 year of life. And that, she said that, and that and her that people in her family were from one extreme to the other, just all over the place. Yep. Okay. And and you could tell it by the way she talked about different things. Mm -hmm. You know, nothing ugly or anything like that. Sweet, sweet girl. But sweet girl. I ask her I ask her the question, do you believe in God? And that's when she told us all about all about what I just said. She said she believes in something. She believes in a higher power. power. Yeah. Okay. And when I asked her that, I had looked down at my phone just before that. Okay? 
and I saw 716, okay? Malachi 716, I'm going to let my, my dear wife read that. <clears throat> you mean Micah? I mean Micah, sorry. I got you, honey. <laughs> I said the wrong one. That's okay. So, Micah 716 says, And all the nations of the world will stand amazed. Read, read verse 15 first. Oh, sorry. 15 and 16. Yes, says the Lord, I will do mighty miracles for you like those I did when I rescued you from slavery in Egypt. All the nations of the world will stand amazed at what the Lord will do for you. They will be embarrassed at their feeble power. They will cover their mouths in silent awe, deaf to everything around them. Okay, so so listen to this. I see 716. I ask her if she believes in God, okay? And she's got all kind of stuff that she believes in and she says she believes there's a higher power but she don't know what it is right she's searching but she has no clue what to look for right okay she's tried you can tell that she's tried all sorts of different things mm -hmm. and she still doesn't have peace okay and i just gave her a verse that she went what Mm -hmm. You could tell, you could see the look on her face, and she was like, the feeble power just came to reality in her mind. Right. That she's trying to have with whatever she's searching for. Right. That she hasn't found yet. Okay. And I, I end up getting to share the 108 story with her, which is really really cool. I, always to be able to do that. And the price, I think the tax or something like that, had 519 in it. Okay? And 519 is Mark 519, and it says, No, go home and tell everyone about uh, what God's done for you, mm -hmm. or what I've done for you. This is Jesus talking. Mm -hmm. Okay? And. I, and I said, that's what we just did. Right. And I said, look down here at the at the, at the uh, phone number phone number mm -hmm. of the restaurant that we're in. Mm -hmm. The last four digits is seven zero seven seven. Yep. God's number. And she was like, I've never seen that before. Mm-hmm. And we and we ended up leaving. Uh, after that but it was just really cool that she was like going that was amazing you could just look on the, on her face and just go how's that happen <laughs> but anyway oh, guys I, I think we need to end it right here but I just wanted uh, Michelle well, actually God wanted us to share this oh, yes. because just before making this video we see a 963, which is Psalms 96.3. Go and tell. <clears throat> Go and tell all of the wonderful deeds that I've done for you. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then, right after that, the time and the temperature in the, in the car Four seven has 476, which is Go the, and tell. <laughs> the uh, page number of First Chronicles 16.24, which is the exact same verse, just in a different book of the Bible. Go and tell. Go and tell. So, that was right before we started this video, and that's why we're we are sharing this video right now. God said, "Do it now. Do it, do it now. Do it now." Okay. Okay. <laughs> and we're an obedient couple and individuals, and we do what God says when He says to do it. Absolutely. Okay, guys, that's all I got. Y'all have a wonderful evening and Merry Christmas. Bye. Oh. Always think of uh, what this is all about, guys. It's not about the presents. Nope. Except one present. The one that God gave to us. Absolutely. And there goes a 581 on that car. The little things. Little Actually, things. that's a big thing, but there you go. Absolutely. All right, guys. Merry see Christmas. You, see you on the next video. Merry Christmas.